Hello guys! We're not in the bath today, but we are going to show you how we are making our falernum for the mountain high Mai Tai. Banana falernum. The banana falernum, yeah. So not only are we doing it in prep kitchen, but just for just for today's purposes, we're just in uh, Graham, Graham's gaff. Uh, basically what falernum is, is like a spiced, uh, spiced rum liqueur almost. There's like, so you've got many ingredients of like cloves, lime zest, um, almonds and normally a bit of uh, allspice berries as well but we're swapping that out for bananas so yeah you've got got the rum here the chairman's white that we're using a little bit of almonds courtesy of Tesco's today bananas normally uh, what I wanted to well, normally what we use is like unripe bananas like green ones because over in St Lucia where chairman's is from they call them green figs and it's they're used in loads of cooking over there that's true, that's a true fact. Uh, right. Is this like the uh, like Chinese grapes or kiwis? Chinese it? grapes or kiwis, yeah. Cloves. Cloves, I, I never know if I like the smell of cloves. Depends if you wash them regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Graham is already zesting away these, these limes. Thank you, Graham. Oh yeah, so gotta get them done. Best trick, just uh, leave a little bit of the green. Uh, don't if you get the pith, it's going to be incredibly sour, and you'll have to rectify that with uh, the sugar syrup that you make with the liqueur. So, yeah, keep it the zest. So while Graham's getting on with uh, zesting all of them limes, you're probably going to have a uh, very green fingers by the end of it, aren't you? Oh yeah. Always. Oh yeah. yeah. But um, I'm gonna start smashing up all of the almonds and then just gonna like toast them slightly. So I've got them in, got them here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna use this and absolutely smash them. No, they're all just moving out of the way of each other. So we found that um, our rolling pin was not was not large enough to actually crush any of the almonds. The almonds just kept moving out of the way have everything in there as you saw so what we've done now is we've got um, in true cocktail fashion we've got a big cocktail shaker put um, a large a large metal object in there and uh, then we're just gonna sh shake it instead and smash them all up <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen Give me another go and spray more dust everywhere. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> so as you can see, this is what happens to the uh, to the arm almonds with the with, with, with a technique that where you're not in a prep kitchen, you've just got some weird, some weird shaker and nothing else. So I'm gonna have to go and get some more almonds now. Managed to get flaked almonds, so there's, I don't have to mess around with any of like crushing them up or anything like that. So we've saved ourselves another disaster, like uh, another disaster. But yeah, with these almonds that haven't been on the floor yet. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to just like lightly toast them in here. So I'm putting that in with all the limes just now. Oh, look at that. Fresh, fresh as you can get. Just our cloves, just slowly resting in in the, uh, the chairman's white over here. Now normally for learning, you'd rest for about 24 hours. We're going to pressure infuse, which is only going to make, take us about 10 minutes as we rest it in the fridge. Add the cloves that have been resting in chairman's. 
now comes the best part, which is the uh, putting the entire entire bottle of the Chairman's in with everything that we've been been prepping. Mm. This is gonna. I mean, it's just it smells beautiful on its own, mm. but. For a chairman's Mai Tai, you're going to need some green banana chairman's for learning. Hashtag, we came up with this first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's perfect. It smells like a dream. Essentially what's going to be happening inside here, we're going to be increasing the pressure, which is going to push the alcohol in between the molecules of the uh, botanicals, anything inside of it. Um, anything you're infusing with, uh, uh, up to about 26 bars, so that's about four times the earth pressure. So it just kind of like, put, just like squeezes them all together? Yeah, almost. it just pushes it in and forces them to create, um, to bind the molecules together, the alcohol and the botanicals. Um, then like the pressure cooker. Exactly. Then when um, you uh, uh, really, uh, release all the pressure, you're literally ripping the alcohol from the uh, the the liquids from the solids, but they're going to take all the flavour from them. Uh, so and that's what's going to give us our base. That's cool. Ready for our liqueur. If uh, be careful, you try this at home because pressure in alcohol is dangerous. So always always research and look up first because it can be dangerous and you can have accidents. Yes. <laughs> There's one. There's two. Now we're just going to rest it into the fridge for about 10 minutes and we'll come back to it. There we go. And ready to go. Single man's fridge. Uh, while that's resting in the fridge, we're going to make our kind of like banana sugar syrup for it. And just so, because like cloves, um, cloves and lime zest, they're all quite kind of bitter stuff, but we want the filler, filler them to be a little bit like the sweetening part of of the Mai Tai pretty much. Peel the bananas, chop them up or mash them up. Alright so we're just going to uh, chop them up and they'll dissolve in their own time. Okay, cool. What we've got in here is the sugar, uh, boiling hot water so it all just dissolves into a syrup and we've used that lime juice as well from all of the limes that we zested and we've just used the same pan because, well, we were using alm almonds anyway, so. We've got the infuser back out of the fridge now, and we're ready to get it all out of there. So don't just, we're not just unscrewing it, because otherwise that would just, it would just go everywhere, because there's so much pressure in it. So we just need to get, get all the pressure out by holding it upright so none of the liquid comes out but all the gas comes out instead. So I'll get it back on the heat now. Just want to reduce that down a little bit while infusing it with the banana. With the banana. Leave that to sit. might be asking, well, if you if you're heating up all of this rum, right, isn't it gonna lose uh, lose its alcohol content? And yeah, alcohol will lose its lose its content around roughly after seventy degrees Celsius. But that's what we're wanting. So we're not wanting it to be like full strength. We want it to be nice and mellow and just kind of like mm, scrumptious, as they say. So we're hoping for around twenty percent, and that'd be nice. So half the strength it was. Uh, and it gets reduced down, it'll be a little thicker, especially with the bananas that we've put in as well. So we've got it all together now, and we're just straining it all out here. So all that banana has just turned into absolute mush now. 
but we don't want any of it, so down here is what is what we're wanting. Uh, this is the messy part of the job. It does, it all, it all looks a little bit gross, but we'll get there. We like sieved it all out and got rid of like the main the main solids, but now we're just putting it through like a really really fine strainer. So there's like nothing, nothing left pretty much apart from the liquid. And it tastes great, that banana is proper coming through. And the cloves are just ace. This is a very... Proper, proper spicy, isn't it? Yeah, the lime zest as well. Just... Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's the last kind of solid bits that we don't want. So we're all done now, we're all cleaned, we're all washed up. And we've done. We've done, and here it is. It is... Our very own for learning. Banana for learning. I'll tell you what mate, how about we put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes, let it cool down. How about Mai Tai? And have a, have a taste, yeah. yeah. Mountain High Mai Tai. Yeah. There we go, where it deserves to be, right at the top. Yeah. We're going to even try it over a little bit of ice. Mm -hmm. And when I say a little bit of ice, what I mean is like, a, a big, a big chunk of ice. This, this is the moment of truth now, where we get to find out whether it, all, of, all our hard work's not been in vain. Mm. Good old Germans. Are you ready? Cheers. Cheers, Germans. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers now. Mm. That That's so good. It's really good. Mm. Spicy, sweet, bananary. Mmm. Yeah, ended. Feel free to come on down to Circle Lounge. Try the Mountain High Mai Tai. That's right, yeah. The this Chairman's Mai Tai. With our own made for learner. Oh yeah, Based banana, on banana for learner. Based on Chairman's. Based on Chairman's Reserve, yeah. What could be better? Cheers, bro. Cheers.